Okay, so let's have a look at about the simplest lab you could do. Let's just grab a generic PC and a generic server. And we're going to connect them directly together. It's quite unusual, there's normally a switch or something in between. So if we connect them directly, we need to use a crossover cable. That was one with the dotted line. And we plug it into the fast ethernet port between the two. So there's our two devices connected. So that they can communicate, we need to give them IP addresses. So just click on the server, go to config, and go to the fast ethernet interface. And here you can see it's set to static, and we can put the IP address in directly. 192.168.1.1 and it'll choose a subnet mask for me automatically. Okay, so that is a web server done and the PC is on the same network so we need to give it an address in the same range. So we'll give it 192.168.1.2 So they obviously only differ in the last digit. Okay, so that is our network connected and configured. Does it work? So remember the web server here or the server is 192.168.1.1. Let's see if it works. Go into the PC, go to desktop and the command line and let's try and ping it. Ping 192.168.1.1 and brilliant we get a reply. So we've shown connectivity between here. Now this is a web server running web services so we should be able to browse to it. There's no domain name set up yet so when we go to the web browser we have to use the IP address 192.168.1.1 and hey presto we get a web page. Where did this web page come from? So if you notice there's Cisco Packet Tracer, welcome to Cisco Packet Tracer opening doors to new opportunities. Well if we go on to the web server here and we go to the services that this server is offering you can see this one here is HTTP which is a web services it's got a whole bunch of pages in by default you always go to the index.html so let's edit this page and here you can see it Cisco Packet Tracer that's the title opening doors to new opportunities that was the second line so this is actually the HTML off the web server so Packet, trace, packet Tracer I'm going to edit this slightly just so I can see what happens uh, my demo don't forget to save it when you edit files and overwrite the existing file. If we now go back to the PC and to the browser and try it again. What you'll see there is Packet Tracer My Demo. So it certainly worked. 